Hello students. Uh, today I want to discuss about reference making APA MLA Chicago reference styles. Uh, in every research paper, in every thesis, you have to make references and uh, many students commit uh, errors and mistakes. They don't know how to make references. References are integral part of any research because you want to validate, you want to compare and you have to write a literature review. That's why you have to give different references. This is a very technical task and we will discuss how can we make a reference making process easy. Uh, why do we give references? Basically, we want to uh, mention that previous researches have been done and my research is based on uh, the previous gaps. References have two parts. One is called in-text citation and the other is full reference. In-text citation as the word is self-explanatory that it is present in the text. Like uh, I also call it in Urdu chotu reference means small reference. Look at this reference. Uh, first author's last name or any author's one or two or more. And then comma, then year, then comma, and page number. This is called in-text citation. This is given in the text, in the paragraphs, in the body of the research paper or thesis. There is full reference. This is given in the end of the thesis or research paper. You can see this full reference that uh, author's uh, uh, last names, then first uh, names uh, letter, then year, then name of the research paper, then the name of the journal, then its uh, page place publisher. We mentioned these things. And here you can see volume. There are different reference styles like APA, MLA, Chicago, Harvard, and many others. And the most common is uh, APA. And nowadays, APA 7th is in vogue, is in fashion, and MLA 8th. Usually, linguistic students and ELT students follow APA 7th, and literature students follow MLA 8th. But different research paper uh, journals and uh, different universities adopt different reference styles. Uh, first of all, I'll mention the simplest method for reference generation for beginners. How can you get references uh, in the blink of an eye? There is a Google Scholar. Let's see the demo. For instance, look here. This is uh, the book on uh, data mining. Here you can see the, I'll just click on it. And here you can find a PMLA Chicago, Harvard and Vancouver styles. You will just copy and paste. This is the easiest one. I repeat it again. Just click on this part. There are two uh, commas, two inverted commas. Just click on them, uh, just click on it, and you will find full reference. This is the easiest approach. Now we move further. Second is uh, uh, for general scholars, uh, that is sitefast.com. This is a website. I have checked it, I have tested it. This is the best reference generator for intermediate level learners. What are its benefits? Uh, almost 80% references are ready-made. It is ubiquitous in nature. Ubiquitous means you can carry it anywhere. Suppose you have one desktop in your office. You have made two references over there. And you have made two references at home. It carries your references online. It is convertible. Convertible, you can convert from APA to MLA, MLA to Chicago, Chicago to APA. You can uh, convert one reference style to another with just one click. Okay. 
there is a site fast.com and uh, uh, manual manual of every reference style is very lengthy 400 500 pages a person cannot read it word by word so the best way is to use such tools and they make references for you and they save your labor so you will uh, usually you use uh, books uh, research papers and website references and sometimes some picture or image references are also given we check uh, site fast here uh, for example this is a website uh, site fast i think you can see it easily here is uh, uh, you will just click here how to use it uh, here is a login you will log in you will just uh, fill form and you will uh, create an account within 30 second then come here apa 7 apa 6 mla 8 chicago or mla 7th then you will uh, choose uh, any style for example you have chosen book then you will just write write the name here suppose a dictionary of stylistics or a debates in digital humanities look at intentionally i have written small letter of t now click here it will make reference in front of you debates in the digital hum humanities you will uh, ensure that which writer do you want to quote matthew k gold okay i have just selected it now look at all references are in front of you and uh, this is the safe citation here if you want to modify you can modify for example uh, here they have given the edition 2012 maybe there is a new uh, edition in 2020 you can add change year here if you find a new edition you can write edition first second third if you have found ebook you can just change it so uh, you can also modify it is flexible but google scholar you cannot uh, modify you can just uh, take it as it is okay then uh, you will just click here save citation okay this is the green colored uh, reference it shows that you have got it just a few seconds ago uh, now uh, in apa now look at i can change the reference style to in text citation in apa there is in text just click on it look at here is uh, in text citation you will just copy it and you will paste in the text or page uh, you suppose you have given a certain quote quotation you can write page 12 page 1 whatever whatsoever the page is so in the end what will you do you will just click here copy paste and look at it will alphabetize all references g then m then w and they have been indentation second line onwards there must be indentation punctuation marks are very important in references so you can easily copy them and you can paste in your uh, thesis or in your research paper so uh, i think that site fast is the wonderful site okay another point here you can see that there are in one time suppose you are working on one research paper on one thesis so you can create new bibliography suppose your research paper references would be separate your thesis references would be separate okay uh, if you want to make references with journal just click here right here enter uh, article click on it if you find the ready-made like suppose kdd KDD is knowledge discovery theory. If you find article on it, uh, your relevant article, it's okay. Otherwise, uh, suppose 
this is your article it's fine if you think that no it is not presenting my concerned uh, article you can click on manual then you can fill these boxes and your references would be ready and they would be auto saved but i will also advise you to copy paste at the same time so that you should not lose them okay there are scholarly advanced methods for reference generation why i am i'm mentioning here this is the third type scholarly advanced methods when you want to send your research paper to advanced journals you come across that different journals demand different types of uh, reference styles which you have never listened in your life so uh, pakistani learners feel difficulty the solution is make references through mendeley and zotero and uh, in this way and this uh, they need a separate session for training about mentally and zotero uh, so thank you so much uh, best wishes for your learning and research